in the early 1950s. There was an idea, back of the mind idea, to start a Mumbai edition, but for various uh, historical reasons, it couldn't be done, wasn't done at that time, or couldn't be done. But I think it's uh, overdue that uh, because others have entered, uh, the Times of India is way, way in ahead the number one player here, but others have entered the market, and I think we, we have something to contribute in terms of trustworthy journalism, relevant journalism, and fairly comprehensive coverage, and also a forward looking outlook. Uh, so I think we, we have a place here, and uh, I mean, it's, it would be surprising if we didn't enter uh, at some point. It's taken a long while, but this is a good time to enter because we are now on a growth path. We had a couple of uh, difficult years, but we now uh, are clearly on a growth path, uh, both uh, in, in a business sense and also editorially. We've been recruiting people uh, after some years of cost control and so on. So I think we, it's a good time to enter, and this building, of course, is a, this location and building, plus our journalists, uh, it's a great, these are a great asset. differentiator will be our uh, credibility and reliability, our reputation, our reputation for serious journalism, but also in recent decades for diversifying our coverage, uh, our excellent sports coverage, for example. I think on cricket, uh, Shashank Manohar was uh, interviewed in The Hindu the other day by G. Viswanath. I think he spoke out and it's made international news for those who follow cricket. Crick Info and various sites have picked it up because what he said was extremely interesting. So, uh, and then you have uh, science uh, and you have lots of features, our coverage of uh, the, the, the uh, attacks, uh, the tragedy, the atrocious attacks in Mumbai, uh, the terrorist strike, I think was second to none because we, we had, uh, we went back to those families like the New York Times did after 9-11 and uh, did that. But, uh, but uh, readers here were deprived of, uh, have, have, you know, reading it the same day, unless they went online. So when people used to ask, why didn't you come to Mumbai, I'd say, read or go online and read it free. Or you, or you go to our e-paper, but now I think you've got to distribute it at homes, because there is still a demand for print, the print newspaper here, a growing demand, unlike... Uh, uh, several uh, developed countries where uh, print circulation has been in uninterrupted and ter terrible decline. Uh, so here I think there is still scope for uh, uh, for uh, producing copies of pre uh, pre print news uh, printed newspapers. Uh, it's still in demand, although younger people also increasingly read it online. You've got to do both. We also have very ambitious digital uh, platform plans across uh, apps and you know, covering it in a different way. We have uh, Sports Star Live, which is a new, new publication. In fact, uh, on, on the screen, different from our print, print edition. We have a Tamil paper, which I think will also. We are not printing it at the moment, but uh, there will be interest here among, among uh, the Tamil-speaking people here. So the Hindu brings with it a lot of uh, synergies. And uh, your, your question, why? I mean, the question why so late is still relevant. We can't fully answer it, but. All that I can say, it's a very good time to come. I think if I am to give credit to one individual, it would be to Rajiv Lochan, a fairly youngish uh, managing director and CEO. We were very keen on getting him. He was not available earlier, and when he uh, accepted, we were delighted. And the first two years, I think he fought uh, heroically because it was a period of cost-cutting. We had two difficult years, but now... I mean, I would say if one individual can be given credit for turning the company around, the business around, it's Rajiv Lochan, because uh, it's clearly, I think he, he's here today, he flew in, he had some other commitments, but he had a, but he's come in for the day, and he'll be at the press meet, uh, which follows this. So Rajiv uh, has turned it around and now uh, emphasizes that uh, we are now on to a path of growth in every respect, growth, he can elaborate, elaborate on it, but I'm glad you ask that question because, uh, and he's a, he's a man of real integrity. We knew him from McKinsey. He, he, he was a partner and had stepped down because he wanted to work in, I think, foundations, wanted to, you know, I, I enough of the uh, high life, if you like, uh, uh, where, uh, and so on. And I think he was involved in a public uh, health uh, NGO when we snared him, if you like. <laughs> 